What are some of the most cringe things that have happened to you on a family vacation? Commenter 1, oh boy, do I have a story for you. So, my family and I went on a vacation to Italy a few years back, and we were visiting the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Of course, we decided to take those obligatory holding up the tower photos. Anyway, my dad is setting up the camera, and he's walking backward to get the right angle. He's so focused on the camera that he doesn't see this elderly lady right behind him, and he bumps into her. She ends up losing her balance and falls straight into a gelato stand, knocking over everything in the process. My dad apologized profusely, but we were all so mortified that we basically just fled the scene. I still can't look at those photos without cringing. Commenter 2, this one happened when I was about 13. We were on a road trip, and we just stopped at a gas station. I went to the restroom while my parents and sister waited in the car. While I was in there, another family pulled up in an almost identical car to ours. I came out of the restroom, opened the back door of what I thought was our car, and climbed in. I started talking about the weird guy I'd seen in the restroom, only to be met with complete silence. I looked up and realized I was in the wrong car with a totally baffled family staring at me. I quickly apologized and made my way to our actual car, but not before my entire family saw what happened. They still tease me about it to this day. Commenter 3. My family decided to go on a cruise when I was in high school. On the first night, they had a formal night where everyone was supposed to dress up for dinner. My mom thought it would be a great idea for us to all wear matching outfits. We're talking full on, head to toe matching, my dad, my mom, my younger brother, and me. We show up to dinner and we're pretty much the only ones wearing matching outfits. People were definitely staring and snickering, and I was absolutely mortified. I begged my mom to let us wear something else for the rest of the trip, but she insisted we keep wearing the matching outfits for all the family photos. I can't even look at those pictures without cringing so hard. Commenter 4, when I was 10, my family took a trip to Disneyland. We were having a great time, and at one point, we decided to take a break and get some food. My mom got me a giant turkey leg, which I was happily munching on while we walked around. I was so engrossed in my turkey leg that I didn't notice my family had stopped to take a picture with Mickey Mouse. I walked straight into Mickey, turkey leg in hand, and accidentally smeared grease and sauce all over his pristine white glove. The person in the costume was very understanding, but I was mortified, and my family still brings it up every time we talk about that trip. Commenter 5, on a family trip to New York City, we went to see a Broadway show. Before the show started, my dad decided he needed to use the restroom. He ended up getting lost trying to find his way back to his seat and somehow wandered backstage. Security found him, and he was escorted back to his seat, but not before the entire audience saw him being led across the stage by security. My siblings and I wanted to crawl under our seats from the embarrassment, and we still joke about how my dad almost became a Broadway star that night. Commenter 6, our family was visiting a beautiful beach in Hawaii, and my dad decided he wanted to try snorkeling. He rented some gear and waded into the water, but he's not the most graceful swimmer. As he floundered around, he accidentally kicked sand all over a nearby sunbather, who happened to be a very large, very intimidating man. The guy was furious and started yelling at my dad, who quickly apologized and swam away as fast as he could. We all tried to pretend we didn't know him, but it was still super cringy. Commenter 7, my family and I went to an amusement park when I was a teenager, and my little brother was going through a phase where he thought he was a ninja. He insisted on wearing his ninja costume, which was basically a black hoodie and black sweatpants, everywhere we went. At the park, he kept trying to sneak up on people and scare them, much to our embarrassment. But the most cringe moment came when he tried to sneak up on a park employee who was in a mascot costume. He didn't realize the person's field of vision was limited, so when he jumped out to scare them, the employee freaked out and accidentally hit him with their oversized mascot hand. My brother started crying, and we had to explain the situation to the employee while my brother sobbed in his ninja outfit. It was so embarrassing. Tom and her eight, my family and I were visiting London, and we wanted to see Buckingham Palace. My mom was obsessed with getting a picture of the changing of the guard, so we showed up early to get a good spot. During the wait, my dad decided to entertain us by putting on a fake British accent and loudly cracking jokes. He thought it was hilarious, but everyone around us was clearly annoyed. To make matters worse, he kept it up the entire time we were there, even while the ceremony was happening. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Commenter 9, we went on a family vacation to a popular ski resort when I was about 15. I had just started learning how to snowboard and was super excited to show off my skills. Well, on the first day, I accidentally boarded onto a more advanced slope than I was ready for. Not wanting to look like a wimp in front of my family, I decided to go for it. I ended up wiping out spectacularly, right in front of a group of cute guys who were watching from the ski lift. My dad rushed over to help me, and in the process, managed to knock over one of the ski lift poles, causing a minor panic. I wanted to disappear into the snow and never come out. My family still calls that trip the great ski disaster. Commenter 10. My family decided to rent an RV and take a road trip across the country one summer. My dad was really excited about it and insisted on driving the entire time. One day, while we were driving through a small town, my dad decided to take a shortcut through a narrow side street. 
Well, he misjudged the size of the RV and got us wedged between two buildings. It took hours for a tow truck to come and help us out, and the entire time we were stuck, locals kept stopping by to take pictures and laugh at our predicament. It was definitely one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Commenter 11, during a family trip to France, we decided to visit the Louvre. My mom is a huge fan of the Mona Lisa, so she was really excited to see it in person. When we finally made our way through the crowd and got up close to the painting, my mom got a little too excited and wanted to take a selfie with it. As she was trying to find the perfect angle, she accidentally backed up into the barrier and set off the alarm. Security rushed over, and we were all mortified as they lectured my mom about respecting the artwork and maintaining a safe distance. The rest of our visit to the Louvre was incredibly awkward, and my siblings and I couldn't wait to get out of there. Tom and her 12, my family took a vacation to Japan, and we were exploring a beautiful, serene temple. My little sister, who was about six at the time, was fascinated by the koi fish swimming in the temple pond. She was so excited that she leaned over the edge to get a closer look, and she accidentally fell in. My dad had to jump in after her to fish her out, and they were both soaking wet and covered in pond scum. The temple staff were less than thrilled, and we had to make a hasty exit while my dad and sister squished their way back to the hotel. It was cringy and unforgettable. Commenter 13, we went on a camping trip in a national park when I was about 12. My mom insisted on cooking dinner over the campfire, even though she had never done it before. She was really proud of the stew she had made, but unfortunately, she had used way too many spices. When we all took our first bites, it was so incredibly spicy that everyone started coughing and choking. My little brother even threw up. We had to abandon the stew and eat granola bars for dinner instead. My mom was really embarrassed, and we all still joke about the time she tried to poison us with her campfire cooking. Commenter 14, my family went on a trip to an all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean. My parents signed us up for a group dance class, thinking it would be a fun bonding experience. The instructor was teaching us how to salsa, and it quickly became apparent that my dad had absolutely no rhythm. He kept stepping on my mom's toes and bumping into the other dancers. To make matters worse, the whole thing was being filmed by the resort staff, who later played the video on a big screen by the pool for everyone to see. My dad's dancing was so bad that it became a running joke among the other guests for the rest of our stay. We still cringe whenever we think about it. Commenter 15, our family went to a theme park with a large water park area. My parents decided to relax by the pool while my siblings and I went on the water slides. I was wearing a brand new bathing suit that I thought was super cute. Unfortunately, I didn't realize how poorly it would hold up on the water slides. After going down one particularly intense slide, I came out at the bottom with my top completely untied and my bottoms wedged in an incredibly uncomfortable place. I had to quickly try to fix my swimsuit while my siblings and several other park guests watched in amusement. I was so embarrassed that I spent the rest of the day hiding under a towel. These are just a few examples of the most cringe family vacation moments people have experienced. It's safe to say that no family vacation is complete without at least one embarrassing story to tell. What about you? Do you have a cringe moment to share? Tell us in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.